I'm Scott Sander. Police now say there was some kind of dispute between two drivers in the moments leading up to the deadly crash that happened this week in a school zone in Indianapolis. Investigators say one of the two drivers in the dispute ended up colliding with a third unrelated car and that caused the tragedy that killed a seven-year-old student and injured her mother and a crossing guard. Also, a woman from Marion is sentenced to spend the rest of her life in prison without the possibility of parole for killing her stepdaughter. The woman's name is Amanda Carmack. She has admitted, according to police, to strangling her stepdaughter. The body of the girl was found in trash bags in a shed behind the family's home. Hi, I'm Kylie Conway. The director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, offers a bold and public apology after powerful testimony from four elite USA gymnasts. We're talking about Simone Biles, Michaela Moroni, Ali Raisman, and Maggie Nichols, who took center stage saying how disgusted they were by the FBI's handling of the investigation into Larry Nasser. The FBI director, Ray, did say that uh, the uh, current special agent in charge of the Indianapolis investigation has been fired. That happened last week. And also the special agent in charge of Indianapolis in 2018, or in, uh, during this time, uh, retired in 2018. And the gymnasts are just asking now for more answers and more transparency into exactly what went wrong within that Larry Nasser investigation for gymnasts of many girls and women who were sexually abused by the USA Gymnastics Dr. Larry Nasser. And also this morning, we are learning just how many refugees are settling in the United States in this first round and which states that they are going to. We are receiving quite a few here in Indiana. Indiana should expect 490 refugees. The most state, uh, the state that is accepting the most, I should say, is California with nearly 5,200 people. There are nearly uh, every single state is accepting some refugees except for four and then also Washington, D.C., at least in this first round. Hi there, I'm Drew Blair. There are three new reports that support the idea that people who got Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine will need a booster shot. One of the reports comes out of Israel. According to its data, the third shot raised immunity and decreased the public infection rates. Now, two of the reports are sponsored by Pfizer itself. Those claim immunity decreases over time after the second dose. And one of the new reports says a booster shot restores the immunity that was lost. The director of the National Institutes of Health says the medical community has a mountain of data to sort through with boosters. The data in the reports will be discussed during the FDA's meeting on vaccine advisory on Friday.